Hey guys, it's Spokey here with Gigi's Fabric Shop, home to Juki Junkies. And today's video is going to be about the Juki DX4000. And this machine is super mega ultra special. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really fun video for me. I've been dying to do this video, so we're gonna get to learn what to love about this machine, what makes her so special. Um, I'm gonna do some sewing on the machine. It's just gonna be a fun topic. So if you've been eyeballing this gorgeous machine, I can't wait to show you what makes her so extra special. By the way, you guys, if you have any questions or concerns, there's a couple ways you can always ask us questions. Um, if you didn't know, we have an amazing support group on Facebook called Juki Junkies, and it is a big bundle of sewing loving junkies that all own jukies or are thinking about getting a juki and uh, that's an amazing place where you could ask for any help support you can always comment below on this video if you have any questions um, if you have this video or have this machine i would love to know tell me what's your favorite thing about it before we start so comment that below um, and you can always reach us at sewing machines 411 in the comments below in the group uh, you can always give us a call at 813-661-9000 and we'd love to help you without further ado Let's get to it. All right, you guys, just want to let you know before we start this video, this is going to have a lot of information because there's so much to love about the DX4000. So a couple notes really quick. You might want to consider having like a pen and paper to just take some notes, jot some things down, especially if you're trying to research the DX4000 a little better to make sure if this is the machine that's for you. Also remember that this is a video. So you guys can stop, go forward, go backward as many times as you need to to retain all that important information. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and start over some of the basics on this machine. How many stitches it has, some of the basic things before we get a little more in depth on the screen. All right, so starting off strong, the DX4000 is a computerized machine, meaning that it has a computerized element to it, it has lots of built-in stitches, actually 368 for that uh, for that matter. It has four built-in fonts as well. It goes at about at a speed of 1,050 stitches per minute. And as you can see here, it has a very big LCD screen, which is the only model in the Juki world that has this big of a screen. If you compare it to like the NX7 or the DX3000, they're about, I don't know, maybe about a, a third of the size of this screen. I love how easy it is to navigate on this screen, you guys. I sat down on this machine and was really comfortable with it after 15 minutes. So I'm very excited to break down the screen a little bit to you. Up here, you'll notice all those stitches. Juki does a very good job of categorizing things um, in groups, so it's really easy to find and identify exactly what you need. So things are located in, in sections or columns on this machine. So this is practical, buttonhole, applique, tapering, quilt line so many fun ones especially in that decorative category and then up here you can see all the different um, fonts that there are which they do such a nice little font selection there too um, if you have a favorite stitch i'd love to know which one's your favorite i think my favorite one on this machine has to be one of these florals they just stitch out so beautifully um, but let me know which one's your favorite below Let's go over some of the features that are on front of the machine because these are really important too. So we have our presser foot up and down function, which allows you to put the presser foot down without touching the back lever. You can just do it right on the machine. This machine does actually allow you to lower the feed dogs up and down with this simple press of a button. So when you're ready to free motion quilt, all you have to do is press this guy or drop it back up when you want to sew regularly. You have your needle up and down, which is going to be Notice how it says, hey, make sure your presser foot's down. So we're gonna put that presser foot down and then you can do your little needle up, needle down if you needed to pick up the bobbin thread or if you were about to use the needle threader. Your thread cutter, of course, your little speed control here so you can set your speed to your comfortable setting. You got your lock stitch function, which will do a singular lock stitch at the beginning or an end of a stitch. Your reverse button, which would allow you to back tack in the beginning or the end of a stitch. And then your start stop, which is this little, little guy right here. When it's green, that means it's ready to go. This feature allows you to sew on the machine without the foot pedal, but the foot pedal is so admirable on this machine. It's a two-part foot pedal. So when you press on the main big part of the foot pedal, it's gonna sew. And then when you press on the little second component right to the right, this is programmable. So very similar to like the um, DX7, DX5, uh, and uh, yeah, the DX series in general. You can program this to do what you want. So you can have it cut the thread, you could have it 
do a needle up and down, uh, put your presser foot up and down, um, and if you simply don't want to use it, it is separate, which is nice, so you don't have to accidentally, you know, worry about accidentally pressing it or engaging it. So I love the foot pedal on this. This is great. Let's talk about accessories really quickly. We should probably dedicate a video all to accessories, but Lots of accessories here. Look at all these options. You get two different stitch plates on this machine. Um, that's what's really uh, special about this machine as well. So this is just the straight stitch plate. You can notice it has a little singular hole right here. Whereas the plate that's on the machine right now, it looks kind of like a jelly bean. Um, so you can see right there that it's open. Like it looks like a little half smiley face. Um, that's gonna allow you to do everything on the machine. So this is gonna be nice for anybody who's doing some precise work. Maybe you're a garment sewer. Um, maybe you're doing some top stitching. You don't want the fabric to get sucked down or you're working with curves because the foot that comes with this as well is very nice and skinny. So it's gonna be really nice when you're doing curves and very precise uh, work. Okay, so that's great too. And then on top of this, you do get your straight stitch feet dogs, which is really awesome. So these straight stitch feed dogs are gonna look very similar to like the feed dogs that are on a TL machine. So it's gonna act and feed that machine through in that box formation, okay? Which is very um, admirable on these newer machines nowadays because that means that the machine is working in a box motion. Most of the time machines are working in a conventional kind of circular oval motion, whereas that's what makes the stitch quality on these Jukis so extra special is because it's kind of going in a box. It's making such a long contact with the fabric and it's making those stitches look amazing. So there is that, okay? Um, so now let's dive into kind of the screen. Let's talk about what you can find here, what you can adjust because this machine is such a versatile machine. It's great for the person who does bags, garment sewing. If you have a lot of hobbies, you're gonna love this kind of machine. Also, I mean, the big kicker here, that 12 inch throat space. I mean, 12 inches to work with. If you are someone who needs a smaller space, you do get a free arm. So you do have the capability of putting, you know, something maybe circular, a cuff, a bag around that free arm. So that way you don't struggle when you're top stitching it or, you know, piecing it. And then you have um, the cover that goes on the top and the little storage unit right here too. So you can put all your must haves, your, you know, grabs that you need all the time in here. So now let's focus on the screen. Alrighty, you guys, another thing that I want to um, let you guys know on that there's another resource for you as well, especially if you're researching for a machine, you know, of this caliber that has all these bells and whistles, has that 12 inch throat space. Juki does have three options, all at different price points. Um, so I do have a comparison chart for you guys on jukijunkies.com. I call it the top dogs <laughs> um, because they're the big bad wolves of the bunch. You know, they are super you know, lean, mean sewing machines that offer a lot. So they're definitely spoiling. So we have the NX7, the DX3000, and the DX4000 in this kind of series. Um, that's that 12 inch throat space, you know, big machine. Okay, so you can see the differences there, what they all have to offer. Um, but I will highlight on a couple of things for you. The biggest thing here is really gonna be that screen. And don't worry, I'll get into it for you guys. But check this out if you're wondering really, um, as far as the NX7 goes, DX3000 and 4000. You'll notice the accessory differences and um, switch differences and there's some other specs on the other page as well so check that out especially if you're trying to compare all three models but we might end up doing a video on that as well for we'll you drop guys. a link in the description yeah. for the uh, comparison oh yeah perfect 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 all right you guys so now let's kind of zoom in on the screen okay so um, the screen is super easy to navigate you guys when you turn the machine on this is what you get um, you'll see here that it kind of looks like there's a little outline of a plate and then there's the stitch so it's going to show you where the stitch is going to lay so you have an idea of how far to the left or how far to the right it's going to go. We have presser foot pressure located at this knob right here. This is basically going to control how much pressure is being applied to your fabric. This is also what is um, going to allow you to adjust the micro lifter on this machine as well. So if you're working with something very thick, the micro lifter is going to allow you to raise up the clearance off of the plate. So actually, let me put it all the way into the negative. Okay, so all the way to 2.5. So as you'll notice here now, 
I have some clearance under that foot. You see, that's what the micro lifter is going to do. So this is with the foot all the way down. So if you were working with something really heavy, this would be very, very helpful, especially in quilting, especially in bag making, to just make that pressure and that clearance a little bit better so that way you can you know, feed that material through better. But then when you're regularly sewing, you can adjust this back to you know, 0 0.0 you know, or zero just to have that regular tension. And then if you're working with something very, very thin, like lace or ganza, something very fine tool, you can apply more pressure so that way you have more grab on the fabric, okay? So do keep that in mind. Um, this is really nice and so easy to adjust on this machine. Next up, we have the needle position, which is gonna allow you to um, move the needle to the left or to the right. So I love this because look how simple, all right? I can move this over or I can even click this button and it'll move all the way to the right. Or I can click this button and it'll move it all the way over to the left. So, and this is mimicking the plate so then I know kind of where I'm gonna lay on that plate. Very, very easy to adjust and when you're happy, you just click out of it and then it's set. And then right here we have our stitch length on this third dial, which any adjustments you make, you'll be able to see it. Your maximum is five, which would kind of be like a basting stitch. And then if I was top stitching, you know, I could go back and set it accordingly. The layout on that screen is honestly amazing. <laughs> it's so easy. It's I just realized that the easy. background is literally the plate, the, f the plate and, the, and the feed dog so cool. and the needle position. So wherever you're it's at amazing. on the screen, you can kind of see. It's just all the visuals. The more visuals, the better. I mean, this screen is a great size. It's not too overwhelming and everything has its own space. The best advice I can give you with this machine is A, don't be afraid of the screen. The screen is not to intimidate you. It's to make your communication with the machine so much easier. and you know, if you don't know what something is, click it. You know, what's the worst that you can do? You can just see what it does. It's don't be very afraid to simple, click things. The way it's exactly. laid out. I like it. Right here, you'll be able to see, um, you know, if you want to engage something at the end or at the beginning of your sewing. So right here, I have it set to do a reverse in the beginning and the end. If I click it again, I can make it do a lock stitch or I can simply turn those functions off or I can just do one if I want to or vice versa, okay? Another really big kicker on this machine is the thread tension, okay? You're confused on your thread tension, you got some weird things going on, watch this. I can change the tension and the actual little diagram is gonna change for you to see how it's gonna affect your tension. So if you're experiencing tension issues where the, um, the, it looks something like this, right? You're getting the top thread going to the bottom. So when you flip your stitches around, you're seeing the top tension or the top threads on the bottom. You wanna go the opposite way, right? Because you don't wanna go towards this. You wanna go the opposite way so you can level out that tension, right? And then vice versa. If you're getting more bobbin at the top and your tension's looking like this, oops, sorry. If your tension's looking something like where the thread is poking up at the top, you can adjust it the opposite way to level it out. You wanna go opposites attract here okay so if you're getting too much popping you want to level it out the other way but i love this visual this is incredible i always have this page of my manual printed out so i love this visual once you have it set you just tap out of the screen our juki smart feed system let's talk about that because that's the kicker on these top dog machines nx7 dx3000 dx4000 built in walking foot system, the Juki Smart Feed system. What this does is this is basically what is feeding the fabric through, okay? So the, um, the Juki Smart Feed system is so much better than a conventional walking foot system because typically a walking foot that you put on is really made to just go forward and backward. It's there to push the fabric through and do that job and do it very well. Whereas this is adjustable, so it can, it's, it's, you can make it travel faster or travel less, depending on what kind of fabrics you're working with. You can have that be engaged and do decorative stitches. So it does better with side to side motions rather than you know a conventional walking foot. So for example, if you're working with more stretchy fabrics, okay, you would want to adjust it to have less less contact with the fabric, right? Because the more contact you're making with that stretchy fabric, you're stretching out the fabric and you don't want that. So you would want it to travel less, okay? You would want it to um, make bigger gallops, so this way. You'd want it to make bigger, greater humps on that fabric, so make greater grabs to the fabric. If you're working with a very slick fabric, something very slippery, something that moves a lot, has a lot of give, not stretchy, but slick and slippery, you would want it to make more contact 
with that fabric. So make more intense grabs on the fabric because it's slippery, it's slick. So this is all to help your tension, to help your stitch quality, help with the thickness on a bag too. Um, so it's very nice because it gives you more power, more control, okay? So this is great for a variety of sewists. So you're gonna love this feature that Juki Smart Feet is super easy to engage. I'm actually gonna have David bring it in from the side, although it is engaged right now, so you can have an idea of how that Juki Smart Feet system works. Alrighty, so the Juki Smart Feet system is this mechanism right here. It is really easy to put down and put up. Um, so as you can see, it's engaged right now. If I wanted to take it off, I would just pinch it and pull it back and then it would go back into its home position. This right here is basically a little set of feed dogs. If you rub your finger against it, you'll feel its little teeth. That's the Juki Smart Feet. That's that built-in walking foot. When I'm ready to put it back in, I just engage it and then we're ready to go. I can make my according adjustments and it just sits there. And another thing I wanna show you really quick since we're back here is the feet. So these are snap-on feet. So you notice on this um, foot right here how there's an opening on the back. You can also use that Juki Smart Feed system with a variety of feet. So not with all the feet, but if the feet have this opening in the back, you can do that. So like the satin stitch foot has an opening in the back. I believe the zipper foot has an opening in the back. So that means you can use that Juki Smart Feed system with other feet for other types of projects as well, which is very, very helpful. So I can just snap this little guy back on and then just put this lower down and it's really, really easy. There's no headache, no one's screwing anything. It's just that simple. All right, next thing I wanna show you guys is that pivoting function. This is essential for my top stitchers, my appliqueers, my precise working curves, piecing kind of person. This is super easy to turn on and off. When it's engaged on, I'm gonna show you what it does. So I'm just gonna put this down. I have the foot pedal plugged in right now, so let me grab it. So I'm just gonna sew and then watch what happens when I give off of the pedal going to lift up for me so I can pivot without having to touch anything and then just keep sewing. So this is great. Like I said, appliquing, top stitching, curved piecing, anything like that. You guys are going to love this feature. This is also adjustable too. So like if you wanted to make it go up higher, um, especially if you're working with very thick fabrics in top stitching, you can make this go up even higher. So then that way you have a larger clearance for those thick fabrics. So right now I'm just going to do a little thread cut and we're gonna admire those stitches for a second because I mean, come on, that just looks amazing. Oh, let me get my hair out of there. <laughs> it looks great, look at those, beautiful. So that's really crisp. I wanna show you really quick too, right up here, how the stitches get navigated through. So um, right now we're on stitch number one, which is just a regular, regular straight stitch. But here it's also gonna show you um, which feet you should have on too. So right now, to do this stitch, I could work with A or B. Um, and I'm gonna click right here where it says one. And then I get to see all the stitches that are in here as well. So I can see um, combination stitches are my customized stitches. Um, like I said, those columns that I mentioned earlier, we have practical, buttonhole, applique, tapering. This is how you navigate through. And you scroll through kind of like how you're on a phone, like if you were to look through pictures. So just scroll through. I love the giant picture of the threads. I think that looks fabulous. And then I can, you know, just find what I'm looking for. And then I scroll down. And then let's say um, I want something out of decorative. I'm gonna go to decorative. And I'm gonna find one of those pretty flowers that I love so much. Let's see, actually I like the little circles too. I think they're super cute. See how it says, please return your Juki Smart Feed for this one. This means, hey, for this one, you can't use the Juki Smart Feed. So make sure you return it into its home position. Okay, so then that way you can do that. And it look, it knows that it's out of the way. So then when I'm ready to go, I just stitch away. Oh, that's right, I have my foot pedal in. I'm so used to doing this, the start stop. Also, don't get freaked out if you're trying to use the start stop. You can't use it if your foot pedal's plugged in, okay? Look how it moves on the screen, which with each part that it's sewing out. It's showing you exactly where it is on the stitch, so that way you have an idea of where you're at. It's just keeping track of everything, all right? Let me go ahead and do a little thread cut here for myself. Let's admire those stitches. Super, super pretty, okay? And I could make them, you know, smaller, longer, uh, more tight, you know, depending on what I'm looking for, I can do that. And of course, the machine's not gonna let you do something you're not allowed to do. So this is all fabulous. It's very easy to navigate through everything. I just love how simple things are to do here, okay? And then we can make a whole nother video talking about customized stitches, but it's very simple across the board. 
Now let's take another second to talk about navigating through the machine. And I think at this point, we're gonna go ahead and make a part two to this video, um, just so it's not a super, super long video. So part one was a nice little overview. Head over to part two, which we're gonna go link it right now for you guys, so we can talk about navigating through the screen. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed part one. I wasn't really planning on doing two parts, but it just happens that way. I want this video to be super educational for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching part one. It was that nice kind of generic overview. We talked about a couple really exciting things, but part two is gonna dive in even deeper. We're gonna talk about navigation. I'm gonna talk about some of the really things that make this machine particularly special, like the Wi-Fi capability. And we're gonna talk about the bobbin sensor and just how easy the navigation is. Cause really there's no Juki like this one. So I really hope you enjoyed the part one go ahead and head over to part two it's going to be somewhere on the sides right here so click on the sides it'll take you to part two um, and if you have any questions or concerns make sure you comment down below you can always send us an email if you're really really interested in this machine and part one was enough for you and you're like i'm ready you can always head over to jukijunkies.com and the machine is on there the specs the accessories um, and we do ship for free all over the united states so if you're you know concern or is this really the right machine for me feel free to reach out give us a call and we'll be more than happy to help you guys so head over to part two to dive in a little deeper and i'll see you there